from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami New York vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, we are kicking off this vlog doing one of my fashion shoots. You guys know I usually shoot uh, maybe like once a week or once every two weeks, just a bunch of fashion looks. Um, usually in collaboration with brands, whether I was gifted something or if I'm working with the brand. And also just content for myself, for my Instagram, for my TikTok, and for you guys. Um, so I am here in this Halston dress that I got from the Outnets. I'm doing a collaboration with them. I believe it was in the previous video, but I definitely want to shoot this dress because it's super cute. Um, I wore this in the previous vlog to an event at Joya Beach. But I definitely want to get some good shots. So I am meeting Maria in the Miami Design District. And we are going to shoot five looks today. Uh, I believe like three or three or four dresses and a skirt. Um, so yeah, I have my bags all packed here. My Reeve Ghost Tote that you would have seen in my what I got for my birthday luxury vlog. If you haven't watched that yet, you need to watch that now. Um, but I have like all of my shoes and sunglasses and accessories in here and then I have all of my outfits in this bigger um, Loewe basket bag. I hope you guys can see that Loewe symbol on the front but this bag is huge so I have all of my clothes in here. Um, yeah so I'm about to call an Uber, head to Miami Design, we're gonna shoot gonna come back here do a grocery order y'all because I need food I need to uh, uh, book a flight to New York I'm heading to New York in two days for a job there um, with Disarano uh, liquor uh, so yeah I'm gonna take you guys to New York with me and we're probably gonna see some friends and do some fun stuff but first off we're gonna kick it off with a shoot let's go Thank you. 
All right, guys, just wrapped our shoot, shot five looks. I'll go over them when we get back home. We're still in the Miami Design District. We're about to get Lady Fingers popsicles. Ugh. They are so good, and it is so hot. So they're $8, and I'm getting this one. So refreshing. They have to do, um, so good leche rose water so refreshing it's hot shooting in the Miami Design District. Gosh, I love those ladyfinger popsicles. They are so good. So after we finished shooting and getting a popsicle, I popped over into Fendi. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But the Marc Jacobs Fendi collection Mm, it's good and I literally almost bought three bags I had to like contain myself I bought no bags thank goodness but I did get a little something something that I've been having on my list for a minute so we'll get into that soon but I want to go over all of the outfits that I wore uh, let's start with what was the first look I shot oh I showed it to you guys already it was that beautiful Halston dress from the outlet. I have linked it down below for you guys. I got it in a size four. I had to size down because their sizing runs a little big. It's very, very generous. You would have already seen this in a previous vlog, but the material is so good. It does have quite a bit of stretch. Definitely size down or it's going to be too big for you all. Um, and I paired that with these super cute little sandals. I can't remember where I got these, but they are such good quality. They are rubber on the bottom. They have a leather strap. These are called ancient Greek sandals. <laughs> I'll link them down below. I feel like if you're going to a place like Mykonos or Cabo or a sunny vacation, they are very, very comfortable. Like this leather on the bottom is so plush. I'll link these and then uh so that was the first look I shot the second look was Zara Zara be coming through y'all and you guys seem to love when I show you my favorite Zara pieces so I wore this black denim Zara um tube dress I also have it in a blue denim and they did restock the blue denim one um so yeah if you're interested get it it's such a good dress it goes with everything all all the girlies have this dress it has a little slit in the back it has an undone hem which is very much giving cool girl um and i wore this with my new in saint laurent sunglasses that you would have seen in my what i got for my birthday video but just in case you didn't watch that here they are aren't they cool they have this red at the top gold on the sides they have a thin um ear arm and then oh uh, they're just so good the lighting on this keeps going in and out let me change the settings there we go mm, so good so chic it's the red for me i love them Saint Laurent got these from my Teresa as well uh i'm trying to remember what shoe i wore with that look I can't remember, but it's linked down below. Whatever shoe I <laughs> ended up wearing with that look is linked. 
Um, what else? What else? I figured it out. It was my Chanel Pearl Mules, which I hardly ever wear, so I wanted to bust them out for a special occasion. You can probably find these at a place like Fashion File or Rebag. They're pretty old, but still a classic shoe, and I wanted the look to be a classic look. So a mule goes a long way, especially a Chanel mule. Then I just went with my Chanel PVC bag for that look. The next look was my Vivian Westwood New End dress. Also from my Teresa. This dress is so good. Like I love it so much. I'm ready to buy more Vivian Westwood pieces just because it's so fun. It's so chic. Like I look super chic in this dress very sophisticated yet sexy really kind of hugs my curves i got it in a medium and the medium fits perfectly wore this with my ysl diva strap up sandals um and then the sunglasses are from my own collection with something by sanji the sonoran shield sunglasses the same chanel bag it was a vibe it was a mood of course i had to shoot my first ever herve leger dress that you would have seen in a previous video so good also got this dress from the outnet i've linked it down below it's the details for me shot this really cool in a bathroom like i wanted to give it a kind of you know girls night out in the bathroom looking cute type of vibe uh and last but not least i shot the look that i have on right now which is this norma kamali bodysuit a lot of people don't know that this classic shirt is a bodysuit. It has built-in underwear. It has Velcro snaps. And this is the best shirt because it's just giving edgy yet comfortable yet chic everyday poplin top. I will link this down below. I would suggest getting it because it's the best bodysuit. I'll try and unbutton a little bit so you guys can kind of see there we go. You can see here, it's like a fabric, a stretchy fabric material. Um, yeah, full coverage bottom, but it's a bodysuit. So good. I love this bodysuit. I paired it with this Zara maxi skirt. I believe they restocked this Zara maxi skirt, which is great. And then I had to pull out my favorite Gucci sandals, platform sandals. These come in a ton of different colors. I'm actually thinking about getting the denim ones. They are... A little bit heavy some people hate them but i love them but i have the matching hat <laughs> the matching fitted new york yankee hat so it was a no-brainer uh the earrings bottega and yeah those were all five looks that i shot today in the miami design district only took about two hours i've linked everything down below for you guys i'm a medium um and pretty much everything except for the halston dress i got a four in that um in the Hervé Leger dress, I did get a medium, but I definitely could have gotten a small. You can size down to that as well. But yeah, super fun shoot. Uh, I'm going to clean up really quickly because let me show y'all how this room looks. So as you can see, um, this room is a mess. There is literally stuff just everywhere. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, and I cannot function like this. So I'm going to clean all of this up. And then we will get into what I got from Fendi. So let's do a little cleaning ASMR for you all. We're gonna break it up a little bit though. There's too much stuff in here. Like this just, it is too much. They gave me a holiday. All kind of.
the room is clean it's smelling good i lit my muse candle from august and pierce i vacuumed i cleaned the bathroom i did all the things and now i feel oh like i can breathe i had to put my house dress back on y'all this one is from skims i'm wearing a medium i love this thing i have it in so many colors i mean i have it i have a few of them there is something on my face like i can see it but i i can't see it oh i had to put my hair up y'all your girl is tired okay i know you've been waiting hopefully you didn't skip four and you enjoyed the cleaning asmr so good let's get into what i got from fendi it's not a bag y'all know i have too many fendi bags as is and i need to wear them more often but nonetheless something really good let's get into it Alrighty. I always love my Fendi fam at the Miami Design District. They're so sweet and kind. You guys, this is my first ever pair of Fendi shoes. I have so many Fendi bags. I have a little bit of vintage Fendi runway. Um, I don't think I have any jewelry, but this is my first pair of Fendi shoes. First pair. Ugh. So I've been needing something a little more comfy, cozy, everyday, an everyday shoe, and this fit the bill. Comes with all the things. Comes with a dust bag for each shoe. Probably the most basic thing I could buy from Fendi. It is their Fendi slides in black leather with gold hardware i love it and it has just a faint line i don't know if you can see the faint line and like a brown these are so comfortable so here's the thing i don't have any plain black sandals like none I've like gone through my <laughs> entire shoe collection and I have no plain black sandals. I do have a pair of Chanel uh, dad sandals, but it has like blue and purple flowers all over it. Um, I need it just something I can slide on and go. Now I do have the uh, Louis Vuitton sandals, which are very, very similar to this, but also they're brown. They have that very obvious LV on them. And I needed a black, plain black sandal I could slide on It'll go with everything and these are wonderful i i really kind of wish they had them with both the gold and the silver hardware because i would have gotten both since i've been wearing a lot of silver earrings lately really just the bottegas but normally i wear gold so these fit perfectly i always get a 41 and any uh european made shoe these fit great they're just these are going to be my everyday shoes and they are very very comfortable i think they also come in a light almost like a oatmeal color and then they have the ones that have the the zuka print with the fendi ffs all over it i think they have a light pink as well i tried to show you the ones they had in store maybe even blue as well but the black did it for me i'll try them on for you guys so you all can see them on uh but just an everyday pair of sandals that i can just walk around miami beach in you know I love them. They're just what I needed. So here they are on. Hopefully you can see them pretty well. And they're just a plain little double strap sandal. The first strap you cannot adjust. The second strap you can. Um, so yeah, I believe these to be true to size. And they are very, very comfortable. And just, they, these are gonna be my everyday shoes anytime I need to just slide something on and go, yet look chic. These are it. Now I was thinking about getting the Orion sandals, but those are not comfortable to me. Um, I needed something with a little more support. Your girl's getting older. I need a lot more arch support because I have pretty flat feet. So the arch there helps. And I love these. I will link them down below if you guys are interested. So as you can see in here, I have a very similar pair 
of Louis Vuitton sandals and I do love these these are pretty much right now my slide on and go sandals um this is my second pair I had another pair and I wore them so much like I wore them until they fell apart I had them for maybe two years and wore them almost every day so I got a new pair and as you can see I wear these a lot as well um, these go well when you're wearing like neutrals and such um, but I really really just needed a plain black pair and these are perfect like I said I did I do have the Chanel's black but these have like so many colors and things and then I have these but again like these don't go with everything um yeah those are pretty much it for like my flats and I mean when you live in a place like Miami Beach you need a good flat so yeah I love these they're so comfortable and chic and just kind of easy going they are giving kind of Birkenstock but you know a little more elevated so yeah that's that um I have this white dress hanging here because I am going to an event in New York. Um, it's actually a job I'm gonna be working with Disarano. Um, and I'm really happy to be working with them. I remember they were one of the first uh, Spirit Brands events that I went to when I started being a full-time content creator. They had an event in New York and it was spectacular. Um, so I know this event is gonna be great. It's gonna be at the rooftop at Purple, Mr. Purple, I believe, hotel. In fact, they sent me a welcome gift, so let me show you what they sent. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to get a bar cart because the amount of liquor brands and spirits brands I work with and the amount of gifts I get as, you know, drinks, I need a real bar, like for real, for real. Um, I have so much up here. But they sent me their new Disarano Velvet Cream Liqueur. Isn't the bottle beautiful? So the premise of the party is to wear, it's like an all white party because this beautiful bottle is all white. Um, yeah, I believe you can drink this on the rocks or with coconut water um, and ice. It's very refreshing and light. Uh, yeah. So they sent me this bottle. I did some stories for them too. Um, and then they sent me three little baby bottles as well oh sorry how cute if you've ever tasted this let me know um this one like i said is new so i don't know how i can link this but it'll be down below if you want to give it like a um a try yeah but i'm really excited to go to their event and to go back to New York for a few days and just kind of catch up with friends. Um, I just got a grocery order in. You guys, I used to love going to the grocery store. Now I hate it. <laughs> um, I do like going to pick out like my own flowers and my own produce because that I feel like is a really personal choice. But since I am traveling soon and I have so much to do, today is Sunday, I need to get a YouTube video up. This is the latest a video has ever gone up because I did a shoot this morning and I'm trying to film now. Um, it's my birthday, like what I got from my birthday vlog. So that one's going up a little late today. Hopefully people still watch it. Uh, but I just got a, gro a grocery order in. I actually ordered the groceries on my way back from my shoot, like while I was in the Uber. Um, because I have a little lunch in here as well. So I guess I'll show you guys my everyday what I get from the grocery store, which is not very much. Uh, but yeah, let's get into that. All right, I angled you down just a bit. Uh, but look, we have groceries. I'm excited <laughs> because I'll wait until I have nothing left really. I got some organic bananas. Cage-free large brown eggs from Greenwise. A sweet potato. Baby arugula. One kiwi. I don't know why I wanted one, I just wanted one. Some broccoli florets. I like to bake them um, with a little bit of uh, olive oil and garlic salt. And they kind of taste like chips once they're really, really crispy. 
two mangoes. Uh, hopefully I have time to eat them before I leave. And I also got two things of Oatly oat milk because it's my favorite. All right guys, I also got some uh, pods for my dishwasher. These are also from Greenwise. They are lemon scented, which is wonderful. Cars, uh, table water crackers with uh, pe cracked pepper. These are my favorite. I like to dip them in a little bit of peanut butter. <laughs> this is my favorite snack of all time. Like I usually eat a whole jar of peanut butter every two weeks. And what can I say? It's kind of good for you. It really is. Here's proof. <laughs> this is why I order a new jar. This one is done. And then last night I was scraping it out with like a butter knife. I'm gonna recycle this. Okay, we also have a little garlic salt for my broccoli. We have some pico de gallo. This pico de gallo is so good. I love to eat it with my eggs in the morning when I make a little omelet or a little fried egg with uh, olive oil. The farm stand tabla fresca pico de gallo is delicious. If you have a Publix near you, screenshot this and get it. And because I'm a Southern girl from North Carolina and I have been craving this, I had to get some. These are grits old-fashioned Quaker oat grits that I am going to eat with salmon. <laughs> I got a can of pink salmon from Bumblebee Wild Caught Salmon because I'm gonna make salmon croquettes. Oh, I cannot wait. Like, the salmon croquettes are not good for you, just so you know. You have to fry them and everything, but every now and then your girl has to indulge in her southern roots, and your girl wants some salmon cakes with grits, okay? But then you can also make a salmon cake sandwich with Hawaiian King bread roll. <laughs> the southern is jumping out, okay? This used to be one of my favorite meals. Salmon croquettes on one of these little rolls, Hawaiian rolls. So good. I'm going to start cooking again for you guys because you all seem to love that. So we'll do that when we get back from New York and it'll be a vibe. Also got a little virgin olive oil. This is one of my favorites. It's the... Filippo Berrio Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Got some cracked pepper from McCormick. And that's it, I think. Oh, also some paper towels. Finally, I got so much water. Um, you guys know I mainly only drink Fiji water. It's the best water on the planet and I love it. So I got a big jar of one liter comes with six one liter bottles. And then I got two of the 50 milliliter bottles, two packs. So this water should last me two weeks. I drink a lot of, <laughs> I drink a lot of water. Like I usually drink one big one a day and maybe like two small ones. I love water, it's delicious. Drink more water guys, it solves all your problems. Last but not least, if you live in South Florida, you know that you have to get a sub from Publix. And yes, you can get one made with a uh, mobile order. <laughs> so I made myself an Italian sub. Um, I haven't eaten all day other than that popsicle and a coffee. And so it's time for me to eat. It's three o'clock. I'm going to take half of this up to my office. I'm gonna work on my thumbnail and get today's video up before 4 p.m. And then I'm gonna create some stories for Dior and film a TikTok for my new in uh, buys or my new in gifts from my Teresa. And then I'll be done with work for today. Today was a super busy work day and I had to cram it in before I go to New York. So yeah, let's do that. I think I'm done today with today <laughs> with you guys um i'm gonna check in with you all when we land in new york for the De Serrano, uh rooftop white party event yeah should be fun everything you've seen so far y'all know where it's at it's linked down below in the description box also if you're having a hard time finding things that i'm wearing you should definitely follow me on my shop ltk account LTK it stands for like to know it. 
it is a platform that a lot of content creators especially fashion content creators use um if you love fashion content creators or even lifestyle or home decor content creators chances are they have an account on shop like to know it and they link everything they buy or show you guys on that account uh, so it would be worth it to just go ahead and download the app and follow all of your favorite influencers and you can shop from the app all of the things that you know we show you all um, I usually update mine twice a day with things I'm wearing new and things I'm buying usually that's the first place I post something because I already have to create a link in order to link back to those things so yeah check out my shop like to know it account my name on there is the same it's Monroe Steel M-O-N-R-O-E-S-T-E-E-L-E -E -E. a lot of there's so many ways to spell Monroe I spell mine with two O's M-O-N-R-O-E um so yeah check me out on like to know it keep the url favorite it on your computer and on your phone and you can just go there anytime you're really having a hard time finding something i'm wearing um so yeah i'm ready for this public sub and it's good the the, the rumors are true the subs at public better than any other subs anywhere else even like main chains like i can't even say subway because subway subs aren't good but Publix, they put love into these subs. They put love into the subs, to the subs, into the subs. They put love into the subs. Mm. All right, let's put this water up. I'll see you guys in two days. so as you can see your girl is back in Harlem the sounds of New York abound um, so I flew out this morning from Miami got to my apartment and just kind of chilled for a little bit did a little bit of work um, but I'm actually here for an event I am heading to a launch event with Disarano which is a liqueur brand i've actually worked with them before um and if you follow me on instagram you saw the stories that i did uh, they sent me this super cute care package with their brand new velvet cream liqueur which can you can drink it by itself or with coconut water or over ice you can make a ton of different cocktails with it and it comes in this stunning white bottle uh so yeah they're having an event today in new york city it is at a rooftop i believe it's the jimmy um and the theme is all white <laughs> so i got myself together i did a super quick face just a normal face the lip is Fenty MVP, and I have on this dress from Wang. It's a super old dress. Don't worry, I had this dress before the drama, but like when I was going through my white dresses, this one doesn't get any love, and for good reason, but I thought it would be great for the occasion. Um, I have on my white Bottega Mules. I have my white Dior uh, saddlebag, um, and that's gonna be the look let's head to my office and pick a scent a fragrance for the night and also what else oh an earring because 
I'm earringless. All right, guys, so here we are in my office. You guys, every time I come in this room, I just think of how when I first went full-time content creating or when I first became a full-time content creator, I did so many reels so many videos in this room and it really kind of launched my career um so i keep a couple of fragrances here in new york because i feel like they're more new york fragrances but since the party is an all-white party i have this the harmonist golden wood perfume that i picked up at bergdorf's maybe like last year and i forgot that i had it and i think it would be perfect for this event oh yeah it's like my whole look smells the way you would think the color white would smell. Like enveloping, light, airy, yet deep and soulful. The, what is this, Golden Wood? I'll link it down below. Their bottles are so beautiful. I think this is the only The Harmonist perfume that I have. So yeah, let's try a little more. It smells super sweet, yet like with a musk. A little masculine okay where's my bag oh here's my bag and you guys seem to love my dior bag collection my saddlebag collection i showed a brand new one in my what i got for my birthday luxury uh haul and yeah so all white everything i do need to pack a cam well i have to pack you all in here i need to pack my light from Amazon because I have to create a reel for them and it's gonna be nighttime so I need good light. So this is great. I will link this. It's from Amazon, one of my favorite buys from Amazon. Um, yeah, let me show you the full look and then I need to create a TikTok for this look and then we're out of here. Just kidding, I forgot an earring. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with my Bottega drop earrings. I've been wearing them so much. I know y'all are sick of me wearing these earrings, but honestly, I gotta get my cost per wear. And at this point, I have gotten my cost per wear. There are quite a few dupes out there of these, so you know where they'll be. Link down below in the description bar. Yeah, but these are the largest size, and as you can tell, I love them, because I've been wearing them so, so much. Okay, let me show you guys the full look. Hopefully you guys can see me. Here's the look. Here's the dress. Can you see me? I'm a little dark. Let's move you over there. Let's lighten you up a bit. Okay, so the dress, super old. The shoes, Bottega. The bag, Christian Dior. The earrings, also Bottega. The lip, Fenty. I love how this just and it's a cotton like shirt dress which is pretty fun okay that's the look the smell is the harmonious golden wood and we are out of here
Toronto events. Um, we having a really good time. Yes. We love our Monroe. Oh, yes. We love, love our Monroe. We need to get to 100K. Yeah. Girl. We need to get to 100K. Uh, hello. Get her to 100k. If you are not subscribed at this point in the video, you need to pause, subscribe, and then continue watching. Yes. Okay? Yes. And, and also right. check out her channel. Yes. Yes. Aww. Um, so there is a ton of construction going on and it's really really loud so I still have to film so sorry guys I do not miss the New York City noise like it's only like 9 a.m. and they've already started jackhammering it's just so loud so last night I went to the Disarono uh, Velvet event you guys it is so delicious i love it it's very kind of sweet light um and refreshing it's a very refreshing summer drink um so i ended up having it with the coconut water over ice a1 that's going to be my drink for the summer um especially in hot miami yeah i'm putting on a little bit of the lip glow oil from dior in the color mahogany it's my favorite but yeah i saw my girl shauna there simply shauna on instagram and on youtube i saw my girl marie um it was really beautiful on the rooftop at the jimmy they have a pool and it looks out over just like all of downtown you can see one world trade and it was lovely i had a great time if you want to try it i'll link it down below um but right now currently that's like my favorite like liqueur like little aperitif it's really really good uh so today i got up i did a workout definitely about to put on some of this christian dior love bomb which is my favorite y'all i left my lotion at home so i've been using this I mean, I left my lotion in um, Miami, the Kiehl's Cream de Court. So I've been using the Christian Dior, uh, the new La Bomb for your hands, lips, and body. And it's been coming through for you, girl. I'm so sorry about the noise. Like, I can't do anything about it. Um, so I got myself together today because I'm going to have... A date with New York City I've done this before um, I'm just feeling like getting out of the house going to some of my favorite places so I want to go to Bouvet, Bouvet uh, for breakfast it's a French restaurant here in New York City they also have it in Paris I've been to both it's one of my favorite restaurants they have the best eggs and like homemade croissants and oh uh, I just I'm in the mood for it so I'm gonna head down to the West Village and have breakfast there and then there is a Dion Lee sample sale going on. I'm going to swing by and check that out. If the line is too long, I'm not going in. Like, I just, I can't with lines anymore. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'll just order it online. <laughs> and then I want to do just a little bit of walking around and shopping. I definitely want to head into Mango. Mango just dropped a collection with Simon Miller. Simon Miller is one of my favorite contemporary brands. 
um they do lots of color lots of fun prints i have quite a few simon miller dresses and pieces um but they did a collection with mango and it's like a summer collection like swimwear too um, and I already ordered two dresses online, but I want to go in store and check them out. I'll link some pieces from that collection if you're interested. One of them is a stunning raffia dress, a midi dress that comes in green and black. Y'all go check the links in the description box because if I don't see them in store, y'all need to get these dresses. They're going to sell out. Um, and for a Simon Miller dress in collaboration with Mango, it's a really good price. Uh... I'm going to show you guys my look. I did a very basic face today. I'll show you guys my look. And we're going to head downtown. I think I'm going to take the train. Because I just don't feel like waiting. I am starving. Uh, let's get into my look of the day. I'm wearing this little crop top from Nasty Gal. The jeans, or actually the cargo pants, are from Zara. Um, they're from the men's. Remember I told y'all about these cargo pants. They're from the men's Ruigi line. Um, and I'm wearing the, them in a small. They're pretty high-waisted. So, yeah, I love these. Gonna pop on some sneakers. And I'll show you guys the look. Y'all, I'm a, so annoyed with the jackhammering. I can barely vlog. I have to leave the house today. A little Baccarat Rouge 540 fragrance today. Gonna take my new YSL sunglasses that you would have seen in my luxury birthday haul. Love these. They're so cool. Chanel bag. Inside we have my Christian Dior lip balm and lotion. I think that's it. Here is the full look. Saint Laurent sunglasses, Chanel bag. Zara cargo pants, Celine high tops, um, the fragrance is Baccarat Rouge 540. Patiently waiting for them to stop jackhammering so I can talk. And the jacket is from Acne, but I'll link a few similars down below. I have to get out of here because this construction noise is going to drive me insane. Like, I value my peace. And I don't get none in New York City, which is why I moved. Let's go. Just got finished eating at Bouvet. I always go by myself uh, because I can get a table right away. If you go with someone, you're gonna have to wait for like 30 minutes. But they have the best eggs. <clears throat> I always get the jambon cru and some croissants with jam. And it's delicious. So now I'm walking around West Village. I'm gonna make my way to the Dion Lee sample sale. Take you guys with me.
All right guys, just leaving the Dion Lee sample sale. I tried to get a little bit of video, but they don't really allow you to film in these sales, mainly because there's a lot of people in there that are naked, like getting dressed in corners. There's no wear to try on clothes <laughs> in these sample sales, but I did get a little something. I got a, um, a sample, an actual sample from a fashion show of it's like a super long skirt maxi skirt so i'll try it on for you guys when i get home and show you now i'm gonna head to mango and see if i can find any of the simon miller any of the simon miller mango collaboration pieces i don't know if it's in store or only online but i'm in soho close to broadway and uh might as well just pop in and see. All right. Yeah. I had a great shopping experience. Um, I went into Flying Solo, which is one of my favorite places to discover up and coming um, and indie designers. It's in uh, the Soho area. So every place I went that's pretty cool, that's off the beaten path, I'll put down below. I did pop into Rebag, what goes around comes around. I did go to Mango to see if they had the Simon Miller collection and they did, but they didn't have the beaded dress that I wanted. Um, I did try on this black fringe dress. I thought it was raffia, but it's actually like cotton fringe. Um, very beautiful. It also comes in a vibrant green. I actually ordered both of those dresses and they're on their way to me in Miami. But I just wanted to try it on just to see if I should have gotten the small instead of the medium. I preferred the medium. Um, so I did go to the Dion Lee sample sale. I tried to put as many clips in there as I could. It was actually very well organized. The place was huge. There was no line. Um, I tried on quite a bit of things, but I only ended up getting a runway skirt um, that I'm going to show you all right now. So here's the skirt. It's an actual sample. It's like a beautiful canvas denim, and it is super long. It's a super long maxi skirt with a fish tail and a zipper and as you can see you can see here that it says it was a sample um and it was retailing for 99 dollars down from i believe 199 um so yeah i ended up trying this on over my trick is i put on a skirt or a dress and then I just take off my pants and slide on <laughs> bottoms because they don't have fitting rooms most of the time in these sample sales. I don't have a bottom on right now. <laughs> so I'm putting the skirt on so I can show you guys. Uh, but yeah, it's so beautiful. This is definitely like an occasion show stopping piece. <sighs> Let me show you. You guys, how freaking stunning is this? For $99, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me this is why i love going to sample sales this thing fits like a dream now i don't know where i'm going to wear this but it is so beautiful i absolutely love it it fits me like a glove and the fact that this is a a sample like a runway sample is crazy but yeah it's so beautiful this train is so long i don't know where i'm gonna wear this but she's gorge i don't know if you can see the designs here there's like some little 
stitching panel gives you a really beautiful hourglass shape. All right guys, so that is what I got from the sample sale. I tried on a few tops and things, but you know, it was a skirt for me. Uh, if I can find this online, I'll try and link it below, but it will not be $99. It will probably be way more, like $1,000. Uh, okay, by the way, if you're looking for a sample sales, they have sample sales in New York City as well as like Miami and LA. Follow 260 sample sale, 260 sample sale on Instagram. Um, and they will give you all of the goods on the sample sales. <sighs> so I have quite a bit of work to do. I need to create a reel and stories from the DeSorono event last night and turn those in. I need to upload a YouTube video and create some stories and send that to a brand for review. I think I'm working with the Outnet. So I have to get that reviewed. I need to relax. And then tonight I'm going to a really fun restaurant. It's called Tatiana by Kwame. Can't remember the last name. He's a very famous chef named the restaurant after I believe his sister. Um, but it is like Caribbean inspired. Well, not even inspired. It's like fancy Caribbean food. And the restaurant is at Lincoln Center. And so I'm meeting up with my girl, Amani. Well, I haven't seen her in, in a hot minute. Um, and we're gonna go to dinner tonight. So stay tuned. That will be pretty much the end of this vlog. But if you have enjoyed it thus far, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. The thumbs up are really helping to push my videos out to more people. You guys know I have a goal of hitting 100,000. Yes, I do not have 100,000 subscribers yet, even though my content is amazing. I know it is. Please subscribe. If you have been watching me for some time and you haven't subscribed yet, um, it'll help me out so much. I really would like my plaque this year. So share my videos with your friends, your family, uh, subscribe and thumbs it up. Like it takes nothing to thumbs up the video. I don't do those little, um, and someone suggested that I should do the things where you can gift me money, but I just feel like you guys do enough just by watching the videos. But if you can just thumbs up every video, that's the, the payment <laughs> for the video. Um, that would help me out the most almost even more than well watching the video of course but yeah all right guys thumbs it up you can do it from your tv uh i will check in when i'm getting ready to head to dinner tonight and we will close out this miami to new york city vlog by the way my makeup is flawless i'm gonna have to do an updated makeup routine for you guys hey y'all so i just finished up my work I uploaded a YouTube video, sent it off to a brand to be approved, um, got all of my stories, did my reel for DeSorono, um, and now I'm in this Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. You would have seen me wear this during Art Basel. Uh, Bottega earrings, breadwinner Fenty lip, and I'm heading to this restaurant. It's called Tatiana by Chef Kwame on Wachi, I probably butchered that, I'm so sorry, but it is an Afro-Caribbean inspired dining um, with New York City influences. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, it looks great. Um, I couldn't get reservations, like I think they only have a table for like 10, um, but they do have a full functioning bar, it's at Lincoln Center, and so I'm meeting my girl Amani there. So I just wanted to dress up a tiny bit but yeah, let me show you the full look and then we are heading out. All right guys, so here's the full dress. Again, I wore this during Art Basel. It's still available and it may even be on sale now. So I'll be sure to link it below. I'm wearing, I believe a medium um, and it's just so fun. Thought it would be cute for the uh, dining experience tonight. Um, the shoes are my Saint Laurent mesh pumps. It's been a minute. I used to wear these so, so much, but I thought they're very classy and chic, so they would be great for dinner. These are definitely available, so I'll link them down below. I'm going to go with my same Chanel PVC bag from earlier, and that is the look. 
by the way i got so many compliments on this bag today you guys remember i got this from fashion file um and there is a version that comes with pearls but i'm not really a pearl girl so this works better for me but i will be sure to link any i can find online right now it's just a super fun chanel um bag Okay guys, so we're here. We were sat outside where there is, there's no vibes. How many? We are the vibes. <laughs> and look, you, oh you want me to play music? Here we go. You guys want me to play some music? No. <laughs> They're like, no, please don't. <laughs> and it's raining. Right? They need and they can't accommodate us inside, here. so we're out here. Yeah. In the rain. But at least the food is good. And the wine is good too. Mm. Food is seasoned. It's seasoned, it's spicy. <laughs> it's good. So far we've had the okra and the dumplings. It's so funny, I did eight out of 10. I had to do an event for Chef Farley.